Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a skincare review because there's no makeup, no skincare on my face right now. And the brand we're gonna review is Dior. I purchased this three item about three weeks ago from Sephora VIB Wholesales. And I, I can't wait to show you the result on my skin. In fact, I actually tried a couple of this item already for about two weeks now. So at the end of the demo, I'm gonna tell you my feedback and do I recommend it or not. Let's get started. The first product I want to try is the brand new product from the Dior line. It's called Hydra Life and this is particular three different type of masks available. I think there's three available and I picked the one called Extra Plum <laughs> and Smooth Balm Mask and I'm gonna put on my face right now to show you how this feels on my skin. When I purchased this, um, how do I say that? I wasn't sure which one I want to buy. I was going to buy all three, but I thought that's a lot of money. So I found the one that really beneficial for my skin concerns. And since it's called Extra Plum, that means you should be plump my skin more. So hopefully my, my, skin, my skin looks better. Okay, so you can see in, it, it's in a glass jar. And uh, this baby here is $69. And for Dior, Dior is a luxury skincare line for $69. It's actually more of an entry level. Uh, collection for them and if you look at their website they're having all this young girl putting the mask on so they're definitely using this line to target younger generations which is not me but I want to do a review to show you guys uh, when you first look at it it's kind of like a peach cream colors and it, it's a it's a bond so you can see I'll get a little close to show you okay I'm gonna put on my face right now it's very cooling when you first apply on the skin. I definitely recommend you when you use any kind of mask, you want to wash your face really, really good before you apply anything. If you've been following me, you know that anytime I use any kind of clay mask, I always put eye gel first uh, because the eye gel will protect my eye area doesn't get pulled. But since this is a bond, kind of like a thicker gel lotion type of texture, it's not going to pull my skin, so I don't need to put the eye, um, eye gel over it. And typically, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't use a lot of Dior skincare, mainly it's because their smell. Um, I, it, I think scent and smell, it's, it's personal preference. You know, some people really love this fragrance scent or botanical scent or no scent. So it's you. but. I feel like Dior skincare, generally speaking, has a lot of perfume in there. And I think all this French company, they all smell like that a little bit. And immediately when I smell this one, it has almost no scent. It's very, very light. And when I went online to study, it has a botanical uh, scent in there. So it's more earthy, it's, it's less perfumey. So I think the smell I really enjoy. And the ingredient has a white palm. No, white pine oil and shea butter, jojoba oil in there. So it's a lot of nourishing ingredients. And I don't see any ingredient in there for firming and lifting, but we'll see how this result gonna work. Okay, the mask is leaving my skin about five minutes now. And during this time, I went to study a little bit more. I wish you do that in the first place. I discovered the white pine oil has is a natural plumbing agent in there. So that ingredient alone is the anti-aging ingredients. And uh, the Hydro Life collection is definitely designed for, I, I feel it's more for younger generation because I just look at their ad on the Dior.com, it's all this young, young, young girl. So I think they really target more millennials, uh, younger people, but it doesn't mean that I cannot try it. So I want to see how this works on my, my skin. Typically, that when you have a clay mask like this, you want to rinse off with warm water. But since I'm filming video, I just have a wet cloth. So I'm going to remove this and get a little closer to show you. You never want this uh, balm to dry out. That's really bad for you. You want to get it out before they dry. So I'm gonna take it out. So immediately you can see, definitely see the smoothness of the skin. What I'm doing right now is exactly what we do in a department store. Because the department store has no water sometimes. 
So we can't really rinse off water on client's face, but we get a wet cloth and then we just kind of wipe off stuff. It definitely, when I, re when I remove that, my skin feels very slippery because it's all this natural botanical oil in there and that's what it is. Let me clean my nose a little bit. Does my skin look firmer? Let me get back a little bit. Okay, this is the same color now. So what do you think? It definitely feel very hydrated, uh, feel refreshing. So, so far I enjoy this product on my face. Let's move on to the next item. Usually after the clay mask or any kind of mask, I usually would start with the serum before moisturizer. And the funny story is that when I purchased these two items online, I was ordering at night time. If you follow my Instagram, I wasn't really paying attention. And I, I knew I want to buy serum because serum is the best way to try out the product first. So I thought, oh, this is serum, but I realized I completely wrong. I bought a moisturizer and I bought the primer. Duh. So I'm going to just put the moisturizer and primer on top right now to show you guys. The moisturizer I bought is by the Dior Snow. And this particular is a lightweight moisturizer. And let me show you the consist. Let me get a little closer to show you guys. It's hard to do this. Uh, this is the better way. When I pump it out, it looks like that. Um, one thing about pump like this, watch. Your one pump. It's this tiny pearl size. So it's actually not too bad because uh, two pearls should be enough. And this particular moisturizer is all about brightening, uh, make your skin more luminous. I'm getting closer to show you guys, okay? So I'm gonna start this side. So when you put this on, it will help uh, prevent um, growth coloration and even out the skin tone. The ingredient they use is the Iceland Glacial Water with their um, brightening ingredient. You know the funny thing is that when I was, when I bought this product, I went online to search. You can't really find the ingredients unless you look at a box. So I wish uh, they would share more information um, on the ingredients. So this is a very very lightweight, this particular mask already. So it's actually enough. It's very hydrated too though. So you're supposed to make your skin more brighter, more luminous, more transparency. Do I look better? And uh, this one, this moisturizer has no sunblock in there, so you want to make sure you add a sunblock on top. But I still think that if you have a dry skin, you may want to add another serum before the moisturizer. Oh, smell. It does has a, quite a few perfuming smell in there. Let me show you guys. Yeah, it has a pretty strong smell. Um, I'm not really sure it's the synthetic or natural. So, but so far it feels really good on my skin. What do you guys think? Let's move on to the next item. Once again, typically that your skincare routine after moisturizer, you should put the eye cream. Since I don't have a DUI eye cream, I'm going to put what I purchased. It's the Capture Total Dream Skin. And this particular item, I remember about three years ago, was huge in cosmetic industry. It's it's a, a, a primer after the moisturizer before your foundation. It creates a luminous looking skin and a lot of makeup sit on better on the skin. And this is the newer version of the original one and with also anti-aging anti property in there. So it's funny that um, last week I did an Instagram live. I thought this was a serum. I was totally wrong. You meant to be used this after the moisturizer. So next time, you need to study just like I did before I used the skincare, right? So when you first put on this, it looks like this color. Let me get close to show you. Kind of like a peach color a little bit, okay? But it's just, there's not so much, there's not a lot. It's not 10 10 moisturizer, just so you guys know that. So I'm going to put it right here, you can see it. It blurs out the pores, the fine lines. Um, it's not really silicone because if there is very very light or water emulsion, I'm not really sure, uh, but just very soft and just make your skin look really beautiful before you apply makeup. It also has a lot of fragrances in there, but that's okay. So what do you guys think? Let me get back here. Three step on my skin. I think it looks pretty good. The skin's a very very smooth right now. Okay, so after I use the three product on my face. I definitely see the difference on my skin tone. It's much more brighter. The fine line, the pores is being blurred out. It just makes a very, very uh, flaw, 
pretty flawless looking. So I can definitely see if I apply makeup on top of this, she look perfect. And uh, this three product, which one would I recommend for you guys? Well, I'll, I'll start with the one I wouldn't recommend first. I wouldn't recommend the Dior Snow Moisturizer. Uh, for the money that you pay, um, it's a very, very lightweight, unless you're super oily. But for somebody like me, it's not really beneficial. And I found the way that they designed the pump, it, it comes out too little for me. I like to come a little bit more, or I can control. So the design-wise, I think I'm really not care for this. I'll definitely pass on this. However, the Dream Skin and the mask, they are really great. And uh, I think that if you're really big on skincare, you should try the Hydrolyte mask. And by the way, I pay for this. It's not a sponsor video. So this is my opinion. Just want to let you guys know that. Um, but Dream Skin is really great that I found that even if you don't wear makeup, you can still wear this. Just create a beautiful, flawless looking. Um, it, co it doesn't correct the tone, but it just make your skin look smoother, basically. Uh, if you wear foundation, it's really great for that. So this two I recommend. I really hope that you like this video today because you request and it take me a little longer to do the videos. I apologize for that because I pay for most of skincare product myself. So it's not a sponsor or free. So I need to make sure I have money before I buy it, right? So I want to say thank you so much for all your support on my YouTube channel. It means a lot to me. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube. I really appreciate that. And uh, just one thing I want to make an announcement real quick. I'm going to try to do a you uh, not YouTube. I'm going to try to do an Instagram live on uh, every Sunday morning to do my skincare routine. I did it last week, every, no, no, I did it two weeks ago. A lot of you really enjoyed that. So make sure that you subscribe my Instagram to Mr. Genoin one and I, I do a lot of live video too. And we may do a YouTube live very soon. So stay tuned to find out when I will be doing YouTube live. And if I'm gonna do YouTube live, I want, okay, I need your help here right now. We need to have a very clear uh, directions what we want to do. I think I'm going to do a skincare demo. That I think I do that the best. But I think I want to focus on one brand. So let me know what brand that you want me to do. What skincare brand you want me to do skincare live on YouTube. So I can prepare and study. And we can do a lot of live Q&A too. Okay? And don't forget to follow me on my social media right over here. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!